Okay, so today's video is going to revolve around my thread insert installer here. So we will jump into the build video and then we'll meet back here to kind of go over some of the designs and all of that. So yeah, I'll meet you guys back here.
Today's sponsor is PCBWay, the go-to destination for custom prototype services. From CNC to 3D printing and flexible or rigid PCB manufacturing, PCBWay covers all your prototyping needs. As a first-time user, sees the exclusive offer of $5 off your initial order. You can get single or dual layer PCBs up to 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters and up to 10 quantity for free. You only pay the shipping and handling charges on this first purchase. With exceptional quality and outstanding customer service, I personally recommend PCB Way for bringing your ideas to life. So on today's project, that is the um, threaded insert installer that I've built here. As you've seen in the build video, it's not a very complicated machine by any means at all. Um, but PCB Way was very kind in that they got this laser cut um, piece of aluminum out. I think it's like 0 .07 inches thick. And then they powder coated it in this really, really, really pretty matte gold. Um, you don't need an aluminum plate to recreate this. You could do this with steel. You could do this with a piece of sheet metal. You could probably even print a piece. I just don't know that it would hold up to the heat over a long period of use, but for one or two, I imagine it would probably be fine, especially if you're doing it up away from the board. Also, um, PCBWay printed these for me in SLS 3D, on an SLS 3D printer, which I've never used before. But um, from doing that, I think that I would build parts a lot differently on an SLS printer as these are 100% solid pieces. And for what they're doing, they didn't need to be 100% solid. I'm just so used to building with FDM and having to deal with infill that I don't really care if it's like a big chunk of stuff that's just in the middle somewhere. But these I feel I could have got away going with more of a like ribbed design that you see in certain... Um, like injection molded plastics. And I feel it would have been a much better and more efficient use of material. So for future, if I ever use that SLS service again, I know to build a part that's more representative of a injection molded part instead of one that's more FDM based. But other than that, this is a very, very simple device. It's just got three rollers with a simple eccentric nut back here just like a standard um, 3D printer would have to uh, fine tune your fitment on here. And it makes it where it rolls very, very nicely on this. It'll stay put where you need it, and then you can just come right back up with it. Um, I could go a little looser on it, but I don't want it to fall down. But I mean, at the same time, it can be picked up by that, so I do have to hold it to move it. So that's really the only downfall to the design. Other than that, um, I put some rubber feet on the bottom, some TPU feet, and that just helps it from not really sliding around as much, and then it also doesn't mar up my desk, as I'm trying to keep it as nice as possible. But yeah, this was a pretty fun project, and um, I think it'll help me be a lot more professional on some of the future projects that I have going on, like the speaker builds. It'll help me put my um, threaded inserts into a nice level where they're nice and flush so i'm hoping that that kind of gives me a little bit better of result on it as you'll see in the upcoming footage i've actually got speaker version 12 in the works and i do use this to put the threaded inserts into the um, speaker body and it it works very very nicely so yeah um we'll go to watching this thing melt some plastic and put some threaded inserts in. It's it's not the most exciting footage, but it shows that it does work and that it does what I designed it to do. So we'll get to that and then I'll come back here and yeah, we'll probably be done with the video. So I'll meet you back here guys.
Alrighty, so now that we've watched probably some of the most boring footage that I've put on the channel, literally me melting plastic and putting threaded inserts in, um, there's not really much I need to say about this for closing statements. The project files will probably be in the description. Um, I'll put the DXF files for these. If you need to make an STL out of it, you'll have to just extrude that DXF file in your favorite um, 3D modeling software. But beyond that, um, I can put the link to the um, the little thread insert things that I put here, and then the little nice holder just to put them all in. I'll put the link to that, and then um, in the build files that'll probably be up on printables, there'll be a list of all the hardware that you need to install this as well. So beyond that, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, Version 12 of the speaker should hopefully be out beginning of June, so if you're interested in that, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to let you know that version 12 came out. So yeah, have a good one guys.